Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game Capablanca has the white pieces and his opponent is Ronaldo Ilya. You're going to say, oh, you're showing a chess game of Capablanca against a soccer player. What is this? Well, Ronaldo Ilya was one of the best Argentinian chess players at the time. And this was a 40 board chess simul, a huge chess simul by Jose Rol Capablanca. So he was against 40 different chess players simultaneously from 1911 Buenos Aires, Argentina, June 29. But before showing you this chess game, I have some rare, very rare Capablanca pictures from newspapers. So this is Capablanca when he was in a simultaneous chess exhibition in London. The chess master who suggested a larger board and two additional pieces should be adopted for the game. That's what it says. Capablanca giving a display of his skill at the Imperial Chess Club in, Ron in London. Interesting. An interesting picture and as you can see at the back that's the flag of Cuba. And Capablanca was giving a simul in London, which is a smaller chess simul. I will show you a larger chess simul. Just enjoy this picture for a few more seconds. And let me show you a larger chess simul. Look at this. Capablanca's, Capablanca's exhibition in Providence. Capablanca at the left of the picture stands aside the enclosure. At the same corner with hand in pocket. J, J. F. Barry can be seen. I don't know who that person is, but interesting picture. So they say Capablanca is at the left. The picture is smaller. Maybe I can enlarge the picture, but it's okay. I mean, as you can see, it is huge. But I am not sure that even this exhibition, chess exhibition, is larger than the exhibition that Capablanca did. It was a 40 board chess simul from Buenos Aires. Maybe there are also some pictures of that chess simul as well. So let me show you this chess game without wasting any more time. Okay, so. Capablanca starts the game with pushing the pawn d4, d5, e3, bishop to f5, c4, queen's gambit, the game is transposing to the queen's gambit, queen's gambit declined, queen to b3, b6, knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, bishop to e7, knight to e5, and Ronaldo cancelled, bishop to d2, c5. Challenging the center, but Capablanca captured the pawn. B takes on c5, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, and Capablanca is attacking the rook. Ronaldo Ilya said, Is this all you got, Jose? Are you attacking my rook? Are you kidding me? Well, I can easily defend that. He is defending with the knight. <laughs> he said, Is this all you got? Are you joking me, Jose? Capablanca said, okay, now I'm forking your queen and your bishop. Ronaldo Ilya said, <laughs> are you joking me, Jose? I am defending very easily. This must be a joke. <laughs> Is this your tactic? I know that you are a good endgame player, but when it comes to tactics, Jose, uh, you are not so good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to say that. And then Capablanca said, okay. I take your rook. Now what? This is what Jose Rol Capablanca did. Incredible sacrifice by Jose Rol Capablanca when he was playing against 40 different opponents simultaneously. Don't forget that. A queen sacrifice at move 13. Giving up the queen. Black is losing his rook. Capablanca is giving up the queen for two bishops plus the rook. So what else? Black has to capture the queen, otherwise he is a rook down. But then Capablanca captured the bishop check 
and then capturing the other bishop as well. Two bishops plus the rook for the queen. Okay, so the, so the game continued. D4. Exchanging the pawns, pushing the pawn first, defending the knight, and then capturing the pawn. Defending. Rook to e8, pinning the knight, and Capablanca castled. It is not clear that how Capablanca is going to win this. Plus he is attacking the d-pawn, so defending with the queen. King to b1, also defending the a-pawn. But trust me, Capablanca's position is solid. It is rock solid. Rook to b8. Targeting the b-pawn. What would you do in this position? Guess the next move of Jose Rul Capablanca. Well, Capablanca played bishop to c3. If capturing the bishop, rook takes queen. But if not capturing the bishop, black is in trouble. Unbelievable. By Jose Rul Capablanca. What a classy chess game. Well, we see d takes on c3 and then capturing the queen. Let's take it back. A random move. Then rook takes on d4. Defending the queen, what else? But then, can you see the next move? Rook takes on d7 is the next move. The knight is pinned. Using the spile, yes. Queen takes on d7 and then capturing the knight. Check. King to g8 and bishop to d4. And computer engine says white is better. Unbelievable. As soon as white develops the bishop and the rook, black is losing this chess game. It is not 100% clear of course, but white is clearly better. Interesting, isn't it? But this was actually, this continuation was actually better than what happened in the chess game. So, we see bishop to c3 and immediately not fighting of course. Not a good fighting spirit, giving up the queen, but then rook takes on b2, check. King to c1 and Ronaldo thought that, oh I can capture the rook, but then he made a one second thought and he said, oh I can't capture the rook. <laughs> so he resigned. What a game by Capablanca. He resigned at this moment of the game. Incredible chess game, an incredible queen sacrifice, a risky adventurous chess game by Capablanca and some people are saying that Capablanca's chess games are boring. They are saying that Capablanca's chess games are boring. I say they need new glasses. I mean unbelievable look at this chess game. It looked like one of those chess games of Paul Morphy I'm sorry or maybe Mikhail Tal. What a game. Let me show you the possible continuation so black actually can't capture the rook. Can you see why black can't capture the rook? What would you do? Because of the simple move, knight takes on c3 and both the rook and the knight is under attack and you can't even defend the knight because then knight takes rook. So black, I believe black has to defend the rook so capturing the pawn but then capturing the knight. And white has two extra pieces. Rook takes on e2, knight to c3, check. Defending the rook, developing the bishop, exchanging and white has two extra pieces and this chess game, this end game is losing for black. Even against a five years old little girl, you're not going to win this chess game after this position as black. White has two extra pieces, black has nothing, black is crying. What a game by Jose Rol Capablanca. Incredible chess game. Did you see that idea actually? Capablanca was thinking to sacrifice his queen, not in this position, in here, in here, he sees very deeply, at move 10, 10 ladies and gentlemen, this was the idea, and Ronaldo Ilya said, oh, <laughs> Capablanca, are you kidding me, of course I'm defending the rook, <laughs> is this all you got, well, you're a good endgame player, but when it comes to tactics, uh, you are not so good, Jose. Capablanca said, okay, now I'm, I'm forking your queen and the bishop. What are you going to do now? <laughs> I'm defending. Is this all you got? And Capablanca said, okay, this is what I do. Q4. 
Queen takes on eight. Incredible. And then he end up winning this chess game. In this position because knight takes on c3 is possible. And black didn't see that actually. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more chess games like this. Take care and bye bye.